Today, I will be comparing and contrasting both Judas beheading Holofernes and Judith slaying Holofernes, since both paintings are treating the exact same subject matter. So to give you a little background on the paintings, the story is based off of a woman, Judith, who is on a mission to save her town, which is under attack. She dresses up um, and goes to seduce the general, which is Holofernes. Once the general falls asleep because he overdrank, um, Judith actually beheads him with his very own sword. So when comparing um, both paintings, they're both of a barbecue style, meaning both have a very dark theme. They typically contain very um, vibrant yet dark colors against the black background. So when I say vibrant colors, I mean colors such as maybe um, a very dark and, and vibrant red or a very vibrant, you know, yellow goldish color, colors such as that. Um, the paintings are very violent, as you can tell that by the beheading of Holofernes. Um, he's he's struggling and and blood is gushing and it's going onto the nearby fabrics and even um on the clothing of each, of the women in each painting. Um, they both convey an illusion of emotion. So in both paintings, you can see um Holofernes is struggling, and you can see um the woman kind of giving you know the power that they can to behead him. Um, both paintings convey, convey, um, an emotion, although they're both different in a sense, and I'll get into that right now. So, in the painting by Art, Artemisia, Judith, Judith is portrayed as a very strong, dedicated, and focused woman. The death of Holofernes is far more gory, and you can truly see that he's fighting for his life in the painting. So, um, you can see that he's trying to get the women away from him and, you know, he's trying to move and he's very restless. Whereas Judith, you can tell that she's holding him down and, and she's there and she has a mission and she's going to execute that mission. Um, you can see that by the colors of this paintings, um, they're a lot darker and a lot more vibrant. So the red of the sheet that is on top of Holofernes is a lot darker, a lot more vibrant. And so is the clothing of the women and, and even the blood that gets on the, on the white sheets. Um, the colors of this painting, I mean, they're very vibrant and it really allows for the painting to come to life. Compared to um, Caravaggio's painting, Judith is portrayed as a very young, dainty, and delicate young girl. Um, she has a look on her face as if she doesn't have a full understanding of what she's doing or the significance of what she's done. When you look at her size and the lack of power that she really gives to behead him, she kind of looks as though, you know, she's she's giving it half of her power she's she's just seeing if she can do it that's kind of what i get from it so when you take that into account it almost makes me wonder how was holofernes not able to overpower her and defend himself it it doesn't make sense when you consider her size and his size and the amount of power that she's giving or the lack thereof and the lack of him trying to survive this um, although the painting is very violent and gory in its own nature, it's a lot less believable compared to Artemisia's um, painting. Um, it lacks a true emotion. So as I was saying, Judith in this painting doesn't look like she's really giving it all that she can. Um, the colors in this painting, although are against a black background and um, it contains, you know, colors of red and of yellow, it's not as vibrant as Artemisia's painting or as many other typical barbecue style paintings. Um, the colors are very light and pale in this one. So although both paintings are of a barbecue style and are based on the exact same story and have many similarities, they're both executed completely differently. And you can see within each painting exactly what I mean. Thank you.